Hi folks, thanks again for joining me. Today's watercolour painting, it's, uh, this is an imaginary scene. I, I just made it up as I went along. I didn't really know how it was going to go. I just sort of went with the flow, just splashed a bit of colour on the sky and just went from there. So you've mainly got sort of mountain valley with the river sort of snaking its way through. So before we get started on this, let me show you the colours that I've used. So palette, we've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, glycerin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red and I used the uh, large on Ransom Ake and just and then very briefly just a number three rig and then a tiny little rig of brush as well. Let's keep this one up then with a bit of water. So I'm going to just dip the tips in and just go with um, what should we do? Uh, let's go raw sienna to start off with. A bit of a lizard and cream too. A little bit of Light red, ultramarine. Yeah, yeah, a little bit stronger. Don't worry about all the uh, paint coming down the paper. We'll sort that out afterwards. More blue. With the lizard, with the blue, it's almost perfectly type colour. And on this side as well, I think. With the red in there. All the way down, I'll suck it down there, put that in a bit. The pain's grey, not sure what that is. Look at that, right there. A few mains in, so I'm going to start off. Let's show you how this blue is. Let's have one like sit down like that. Big one there. Big silly. It's all screwed in right the way down there like that. Let's go right there. Right, let's switch colours. So I'm now going to go sort of predominantly yellow. Let's get a bit of, bit of grass in there, get the foothills, a bit on this side as well. Bit of yellow, a bit of ultramarine in there as well. Um, that's looking a little bit bare. I might fill that in with something. I might actually put some more maintenance in. Okay, I might just make it into a plan. Let's just blend that in a little bit better. See what that looks like. Um, just put some on that side. I'm just giving lizard and crimson, ultramarine, maybe a few little hills or something down there. Um, scrap these in. Something like that. A bit of raw sienna. Third number as well. Put it right there. Ultramarine. I'm thinking there's some water or something needs to be down the bottom somewhere. And get a bit more. If we started a stream, that's a I'm just thinking that maybe might be a, just a stream just coming down off the mountains, just just see sight of it down there. It comes down. So it's 
just comes around the corner there. Just give it light, it's all going to be dark. Back to lemon yellow. Sienna and then Umba. So I think it's a stream sort of comes down there like I mean snakes rain. It's gonna a bit of blue. I want this dark so I wouldn't really want to sort of define where this river is going. Opening there, it's right at the bottom there. So I can say it's a big wide expanse. Let's just get that paper flat against the board after it's stretched a little bit. all this up with a few flicks of the rigger, a few just a, some little things going up. That's still dry so it's just soft enough, it ain't going to go on very strong this. over this again when it's when it's drier. Uh, that'll do for now. Just give the impression of something base on it. I'll do that in a bit when it's dry rather than use the air dryer. I know a lot of people don't like the air dryer. Instead I will I will eventually get around to getting a little microphone. I've been meaning to do it for years, just never never done it for some reason. So these are the near side banks. Pop some stuff down on that. And it, it's hard to resist. I don't want to scrape too much because I've done all the mountains and stuff. But I just want to pop a few little stones and things by the water's edge. I'll just paint over some of these. I'll come back to that in a minute. I think for now, what I'm going to do is just try and sweep in, sweep in that river. So I'm just going to take a few of those sky colours I was using, which is the real well, it's a bit of everything right now. Lean it towards blue. I'll just leave that one like that and just, just sweep these. Sweep those foreground bits in. Again, just strengthen those banks a little bit more. side so it's back to the number three we got bit of brown bit of blue dark mix just so it stands out I'm just gonna just flick up with a few of these things I want these to be 
fairly subtle. I don't want them to dominate too much. No, I might not bother putting any foliage on them. Just in All I'm going to do now is just switch the little rigger brush. And just let the little bird be the star of the show. So last but not least Stick your name in the corner. I'm just going to sign this one down there. I'm going to call that one for you. So, let's stick a mount on it so it looks like. So, here's our finished mounted watercolour painting. So, if we go and have a closer look, the sky, oh, there was whole fair, pretty much the whole palette was in there. A bit of raw sienna, lizard, and crimson, ultramarine. Um, a bit of light red as well, but you can see how it also it looks it looks a lot at the time, but it does as it dries it just soften off and goes a lot more subtle. And then I'll just use the plastic card just to scrape in these mountains. Um, gives the impression of the light sort of just catching the side of them, and then same on the other side. Just drop a bit of colour in first and then scrape into it. The base of the mountains, we've got all these greens, lemon yellow with a bit of ultramarine, a bit of burnt umber in there as well. Um, see, I'll just, I'll just scrape, that's actually like the, the, the river coming down as it then snakes and winds its way through right into the foreground. Couldn't resist scraping a few rocks into the river banks. Really helps define where the, the land and the water meet. A few more rocks on this left hand side here. The water itself, I just took some of the sky colours and just brushed it in. Just very, very quickly sweeps it in. Leaving a bit of unpainted paint here, just, just you know, fast flowing water. On this right hand side here, just got a few sticks and twigs and things growing up. Leaving, I didn't bother putting any foes, I wanted to keep them fairly sore, I didn't want them to dominate too much. So you can see lots of that mountain in the background behind it. And a simple little bird up there in the sky. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you just paint along with me. Lots more videos over on Patreon. If you want to join me on there, you'll see the, descri the link in the description. Uh, there's books on Amazon. Um, if you want to take a look at that. It, everything's in the description if you want to take a look. So thanks for watching. Keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you again soon.